staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorvinAuto.com Valley Skycam, part of the Storm Team Skycam Network. We had some clouds earlier here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, but they've pushed well off toward the east. We'll see some sunny skies as we head through the rest of the evening. We warmed on up to 81. Winds are calm right now, but they'll be on the breezy side in most areas as we head through this evening. Temperature-wise, a mix of some 70s and some 80s. 81 in Gwinter, also 81 in the Wapathan Breckenridge area. The coolest spot, 70 over in Bemidji. As mentioned, we've got some breezes out there. These winds will shift around to the southeast overnight tonight, and they'll increase tomorrow. Southeasterly winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour, some stronger gusts. Clouds will continue to slide off towards the east. Get on out of here underneath those clouds. Maybe an isolated sprinkle in our northeastern counties, but the chance of that is dwindling as we speak. Northern Plains, relatively quiet. It's off towards the east and southeast, where we're seeing some strong and severe storms making their way through the western Great Lakes. And off towards the west and southwest, this is the storm system that's going to begin to impact us tomorrow. Severe thunderstorm watch in the blue, tornado watch in the red. Numerous severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in there, including several confirmed tornadoes, some, several confirmed large tornadoes with some of these storms over the past half hour or so. And we'll continue to keep an eye on that system as it approaches our area. We'll show that to you in the hour by hour forecast. Overnight tonight, though, this evening, get out there and enjoy it. Quiet, a nice night out there. Overnight tonight, quiet conditions to start the, the evening and overnight hours. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, here comes round one of potentially some strong and severe thunderstorms, and this will impact primarily the southern portions of the valley. This activity will then slide off toward the east and begin to weaken. The threat out of these storms tomorrow morning, some damaging winds and maybe some marginally severe hail. As these storms make their way off towards the east, they will weaken. Then as we head through the afternoon and evening hours, if... If we can heat up enough to destabilize the atmosphere again, we'll see another round for some showers and some thunderstorms. Some of these likely to be strong and potentially severe. The risks out of these storms will be some very large hail, damaging winds, and the potential for tornadoes is also there as we head through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Because of the risk of severe weather, Storm Prediction Center has put the southern half of the valley an enhanced risk for severe storms. And again, that includes that risk for some very large hail, damaging winds, and the risk for tornadoes. Lesser chance of severe weather, but still there in the slight risk areas and even in the marginal risk areas for Lake of the Woods County. Keep it tuned to the latest forecast. We'll be updating you all day tomorrow on both rounds of severe weather. That chance for severe storms here in the Fargo-Moorhead area tomorrow morning. And again, some of those could be strong. A break in the action for your lunch hour and then the other chance for some showers and storms begins to develop around the 5 o'clock hour. And again, that chance, some of those storms could be severe. Picture of the day, speaking of severe storms, some Amatis clouds, those pouch-looking clouds there, and some lightning. Thanks to Casey for sending that. I'm going to use that at the background to our seven-day forecast. Again, good chance for showers and storms tomorrow. Some could be strong and perhaps severe. Lesser chances Wednesday. Those do not look particularly strong. Quieter weather Thursday and Friday. Chance for a few showers and storms over the Father's Day weekend with some cooler weather. Uh-oh, that's not good. No. Tomorrow's not good either. Keep it tuned no. to the latest forecast. It could be a, a very wild day tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Robert. You got it. The Pittsburgh